welcome back to Gentleman's Corner. My name is David. Today I have a tobacco review for you, and the pipe tobacco which I'll be reviewing is this. Sir Walter Raleigh Standard Mixture, or Sir Walter Raleigh Regular. Uh, that is to uh, distinguish it from the Sir Walter Raleigh Aromatic, which is a blend that came along a little bit later. But this has been in production since 1929. This is uh, generally probably the tobacco that most of your fathers and grandfathers grew up smoking. So <clears throat> before we get started, I'm going to take just a uh, little whiff of this, but first I'm going to read off the pouch. All the pouch says is a classic burly smoking tobacco savored by pipe smokers for 75 years. Take a little whiff right now, just to get the tin note. Well, right away, the, the first smell that I'm getting is dark fruit. Um, yeah, definitely dark fruit. So, it's kind of a dark raspberry, strawberry kind of vibe. Um, I know for a fact that's not going to be the flavor profile, but um, that is the, the scent and the aroma that comes out of the tin. Now, if you can't tell, there's um, quite a few lighting changes that's going on right now. We've got some partly cloudy skies right now. Um, right now it's bright, bright, sunny, and the humidity is unbearable. So I'm going to go ahead and um, well, you know, first let's go inside. Let's take a look at the cut. Um, so let's 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 play that real quick. Alrighty, guys. So this is Sir Walter Raleigh Classic. As you can see, I have decanted this into a canning jar, and you can see there's a humidifier disc in there. Um, that's because when I opened up this pouch, this was bone dry, um, as. Uh, as uh, Bradley would describe it over at Stuff and Things, it was Mastodon Bones. So this is what they call their Everfresh pouch. Um, obviously, that's not entirely the case. We're going to go ahead and put that aside and just dump this out. Now, Sir Walter Raleigh is what's classified as a, <clears throat> a rough cut or a cross cut tobacco. Take that disc out. Let's just dump some of that out here. Just so you can see, let me zoom in on that. So as you can see, the tobacco is just these little tiny granules. Uh, and that's a product of the cross cut. This is all burly, so it's all going to be one consistent color. And uh, it's generally not sticky, even though I've got it back to the humidity that I want it for. But that's essentially what it looks like. So other than that, let's get back to the smoke. Alrighty guys, so now that we've taken a look at the cut, um, I'm just going to read off some stats for you real quick before we get started. This is Sir Walter Raleigh, which is produced by Stan uh, the Scandinavian Tobacco Group, or Lane Limited. It's the same company. Uh, it is classified as a non-aromatic. It is burly with no detectable uh, flavorings added to it. Uh, it is a cross cut, as we saw when we looked at the cut just now. Um, so where you can get it, you can get it at Pipes and Cigars for $31 for a 14 ounce can or $3.75 for a one and a half ounce pouch, which is this size. You can get it at SmokingPipes.com for $31.89 uh, for a 14 ounce can or $3.79 for a one and a half ounce pouch. And then Four Noggins is kind of weird because you can get it for $29.59 for a 14 ounce can or $4.99 for a two ounce bulk bag. Um, I'm not sure how they're able to sell it in bulk that way. Uh, the only way that I've been able to find it is the one and a half ounce pouch uh, or the can. So I'm gonna let that go. Taste generally, I'm gonna give a three out of five. Um, it does have a, a fairly good taste. I wouldn't say it's spectacular, but I mean, it's, it's inoffensive. Um, Flavor intensity, I'm going to give a two. This is a really mild blend. You're not going to get a huge flavor punch out of this. Um, as I said, the cross or the cut is a cross cut. Moisture from tin. So maybe I'm in the minority here. Um, these come in the Everfresh pouch, which I have dealt with before. Um, when I opened up my pouch, it was bone dry. But I also waited for about 
five months before I opened up my pouch. Um, so, I mean, you know, th there's, it could have been that the pouch was leaking. It could have been that I just waited too long to open it, but it was bone dry when I opened it up. Um, so as you saw, when we looked at the cut, I put in a humidifier disc and I changed out the disc twice before it came to the level that I was comfortable with um, smoking it at. And it's still a little dry, but I left it that way because the humidity outside is so high. Uh, moisture, so moisture is going to vary just depending. Um, I'm sure that the tins are far more consistent than the pouches. Uh, Mouthfeel, I'm going to give moderate. You can definitely tell you're smoking this, but it's not going to feel like you're chewing on anything by any stretch. Uh, and then the room note, I'm going to give a 3 out of 5. If you like tobacco and the smell of it and the smell of pipes and cigars and things like that, I mean, this is going to be fine for you. Um, it doesn't really have a distinct odor to it. Um, but if you're not a fan of smoking, then you know, obviously you're going to find it less pleasant. Um, but this isn't like an aromatic that has all of the added flavors that kind of change the way the smoke smells. You know, it may smell like vanilla or uh, dark fruit. Uh, th this doesn't have any of that um, because there's no additions made to it. Now, you know, I'm just going to move this up here because it's making me nervous. Um, you may have noticed that I'm using uh, a headphone as my microphone for the time being. Uh, my lavalier microphone actually died on me over the weekend. And so um, for the last few videos, I've had to use this setup uh, in order to make sure that my voice is being captured. So tasting notes, um, I've got mild sweetness from the burly, nutty, pure tobacco taste, more along the lines of a cigar. Um, inoffensive, dark fruit, chocolate. Uh, but before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and light up and just kind of give you some live reactions. So I've got about three quarters of a bowl left here. Alrighty. So, as I said, I'm gonna just, okay, there we go. As I said, the flavor of it is fairly mild. It's fairly inoffensive. You know, there's nothing really that's gonna jump out at you. I do get a little bit of dark fruit, um, cherry raisiny kind of flavor, which is what I expect from Burley. I do get a little bit of chocolate but it's more of like a uh, semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate than a, uh, like a milk chocolate. And there is this very kind of um, cakey flavor to it. Um, that, that's, there's something in here that reminds me of cake. not really sure what that is. Um, I think it's because the burley has a very kind of bready quality to it that it imparts some of that kind of baked goods uh, element to it. Um, really, really nice though. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining about it by any stretch. So um, I do notice that because of the way that it's cut, the way it's packed, and right now with the moisture issue, I do have some trouble keeping it lit. Um, and a lot of that is just the moisture content because it varies from piece to piece because of how I rehumidified it uh, and because of the ambient humidity that we're having right now. So there is just a little bit of kind of back and forth with it. By the way, if you're wondering, uh, today I'm using my Zippo pipe lighter to light this guy up. Always use a Zippo when I'm outside. And then for the pipe, um, this is a Brewster pipe. This is a Brewster pot billiard. 
and the Brewster pipe was actually made for Sir Walter Raleigh by the Rossi Pipe Company as a promotional item in the 1960s. Uh, so this is a fairly old pipe. Uh, I got this on eBay for about $5 and had it restored for about another $15 at my local pipe store. And it smokes perfectly. So, um, and it's good quality old briar. So, if you get the chance to uh, peruse eBay, it's something that I do recommend keeping a lookout for, and it's got kind of a cool history with it with Sir Walter Raleigh. But definitely as it heats up, um, you certainly get a very good amount of smoke coming out of it. You get a very good mouthfeel. Um, you definitely know that you're smoking. So, very pleasant overall. I think overall, uh, A to F, just standard grading rating. I would give this a B plus. I really do. I don't know that I would make this uh, my everyday smoke, but I can definitely see why, uh, especially in the 60s, this became a lot of people's all day, every day smoke. It's mild. It's not going to really burn out your palate unless your over uh, your, unless your cadence is too quick. So I think overall this is a um, a pretty good blend. It's it's a classic. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know that I would make this my everyday smoke. Um, it's not quite flavorful enough for me, uh, and I tend to prefer aromatics over non aromatics, but. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I like it. Well, that's all I've got for you with Sir Walter Raleigh Regular Blend. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And please do hit the little notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a little bell, and it will send you a notification anytime I upload a new video. Other than that, guys, if you'd like to follow me on uh, social media and get uh, future updates on the channel, including previews of new videos that are coming out, uh, you can find the links to my Instagram and Twitter accounts in the description box below. If you are a fan of my Fantastic Friday videos, soon to become Splendid Saturday due to scheduling conflicts, uh, and you would like to ask me a question, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, or on Twitter, use the hashtag Hashtag Ask Gentleman's Corner, and uh, I'll be sure to get to it in the next available Fantastic Friday, soon to be again Splendid Saturday, because of scheduling conflicts uh, with beginning new work, hopefully. So other than that, guys, my name is David. This has been a pipe tobacco review on Gentleman's Corner. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. And other than that, have a good one.